I wasn't sure what to expect from On a Roll, but I really thoroughly enjoyed this. This is one of two Tom and Jerry special shorts that was released in 2021. And I'm not entirely sure why they only did two, based purely on this one at least. The quality is great. The other one is one that I haven't seen yet. I will discuss it separately. This is purely about On a Roll, and I have to say it's pretty fantastic. So there will be spoilers as I discuss this, as I want to mention a couple of personal highlights, things that I really thoroughly enjoyed and the whole thing is about five minutes four or five minutes and it's set in a sushi restaurant and it actually made me laugh from the very beginning because it starts off with quite a long shot of the restaurant and we see the chef but his head is behind a banner which I absolutely love because obviously one of the great things about classic Tom and Jerry is that we never get to see adults' faces, or humans' faces, rather. We always just see them usually waist down. So I just, I love the fact that they put the chef's head behind a, a banner or a poster or something. It worked very well. And the chef realizes that there is a mouse, and he orders Tom to try and capture the mouse. The mouse, of course, being Jerry. And over the course of the four or five minutes, they make their way around the entire restaurant with Tom trying to capture Jerry. And they make such fantastic use of the space. I won't go into tremendous detail, but they interact with kitchen utensils. There's that classic conveyor belt with all of the bowls on it. There's soy sauce and Jerry is a little sushi roll at one point. And they just made such great use of that environment. Also one that I loved is when Tom is posing as one of those lucky waving cats. It just looked so fantastic and I adored every second of this. It's not one that could be set in any restaurant. Occasionally with, for example, the chopping knife, yes, perhaps. But the majority of Tom's attempts and, and Jerry's attempts uh, at getting rid of Tom involved things that one would find specifically in a sushi restaurant and I thought it was very cleverly done and I, and I had a lot of fun with it and I, I really, really admire the creativity in this. The animation style is really good as well. It's obviously a little bit sharper than classic Tom and Jerry but in general the animation is absolutely stunning and I really thoroughly enjoyed it. When I, when I realised that there were only two cartoons or two episodes in this series I did kind of think, okay, is that going to be a sign of the quality? But the answer to that is no, it isn't. It's really brilliant and I really thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to checking out the next one. But for now, if you haven't seen On a Roll and you're a fan of Tom and Jerry, then I absolutely say it's worth checking out. Can't wait to watch the second one. Really thoroughly enjoyed this one.